All right, we are on our um, three night, probably three night uh, trip up to Thousand Island Lakes. We're starting here at Silver Lake by June and we have about five miles to go to our first campsite at Gem Lake. We tried to do this hike last year but um, only got to Gem because of the snow so we're hoping to get all the way to Thousand Island Lakes this year. We have really heavy packs um, and we're just hoping to uh, get hard. there with, with energy and uh, um, so anyways uh, we'll take you along for the journey. hiked this section of trail twice last year <clears throat> once on uh, overnighter up to Jim Lake or two-nighter and then uh, when we uh, did a day hike with Patty I'm still impressed with these tram tracks that are used to carry supplies up to the powerhouse here at Agnew Lake and then uh, then it goes by barge from there to the base of Jim Lake. Very impressive. We are leaving Agnew Lake, almost made it up to Gem Lake. Uh, if we look behind us, it's a beautiful view of Agnew Lake. And then right up there where that waterfall is, is Spooky Canyon, I think. You can get to Clark Lakes that way, but it's extremely difficult. So we're going to go the route via Gem Lake. of our tent in the exact same location as last year. Got a great view. So we are at our camp spot here at Gem Lakes. Uh, same spot we camped at last year. 
we uh, set up camp, kind of rested and relaxed for a little bit, and then we um, kind of moseyed around the lake to an old cabin um, and just kind of looked around. Nobody else is up here that that we can see. There is nobody up here, so we're Zero. all alone. <laughs> yeah. Um, Spooky. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, anyways, we're we're looking forward to a good evening. It's about six o'clock. We're getting ready for dinner, maybe six thirty. I don't know. This trip, we decided to be very fancy and packed out a little bit of red wine. So um, we're looking forward to having some wine, but also to losing the weight <laughs> so that we don't have to carry it tomorrow. That's right. So it should be uh, delicious and help us sleep much better tonight. Last of the sun on the mountains here at Gem Lake. We've had dinner, brushed our teeth. We're gonna watch the sun disappear and then we're gonna start a little fire. Lake. We had a good night. It wasn't too windy. The wind has picked up this morning a little bit, but we had a relaxed morning. Um, sat out, overlooked the lake, had our coffee. We had breakfast. We had scrambled eggs and uh, mango sticky rice. And we've packed up and we're now headed out. We're going to hike up to Clark Lakes and over Agnew Pass. And our goal is to get to Thousand Island Lakes today. We've got about maybe five miles. Um, and we're not sure about the snow, so we'll see if we encounter any snow. Um, it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Yep. And so we've had a really relaxed morning, but we're getting started now and gonna mosey our way up the trail a little bit further. So here we go. Well, the trail is fairly clear of snow, except right here at the pass. We're going to go up and over that and hopefully have a great view down to Thousand Islands, Garnett, Banner, and Ritter. So we're kind of having to avoid the snow here to get to the top, but we'll give you a shot from the top of our view. Well, we've just intersected with the Pacific Crest Trail coming out down from Clark Lake. Now we're going to head north on the PCT and we're going to go up to Thousand Island Lake, find a, hopefully find a campsite and then maybe go do some day exploring since it's still relatively early in the day.
So we made it to our camp spot at Thousand Island Lakes. It is windy here, but we found a spot kind of tucked back and uh, we climbed up a little bit higher away from the lake and this is our view out our uh, balcony from our tent. <laughs> And on the other side is Ritter, which you can't see at the moment. This is Thousand Island Lakes. And it extends down that way. You can see in the distance, right about there, you can see the teats. I think you can see those from um, the Minaret Vista up near Mammoth. So, just to give you an idea of where we are. Alright, good night from Thousand Island Lakes. We're just watching the sun go down and then we're going to jump in our tents where it's warm because it's starting to get pretty cold out here. But the wind has died down so it should be a really nice night. Did you turn the heater on in the tent? Good night everybody. Well, good morning. We're waking up to a phenomenon. The sun's hitting our tent and all of a sudden there's water dripping. It's because it was frozen on our fly and now it's dripping into our tent because the sun has hit it and it's melting. It's melting! It's getting our stuff wet. It's time to get through. We can feel that sun heating us though. It feels awesome. Well, it got cold enough last night to freeze the water in my water bottle. Not solid, but it's definitely icy in there. So, sub 32. Go in this morning to retrieve the bear canister and hope it's still there. And it is. We're in good shape. Now we can enjoy a cup of coffee and breakfast.
right, good morning from Thousand Island Lakes. We are slowly but surely getting ourselves uh, packed up and we've had breakfast. And one of our um, morning uh, chores is this trip we've decided to do some cold soaking. So I have quinoa uh, that we'll cold soak for lunch. And then also I found this miso broccoli slaw that's a cold, slow, uh, cold soak. So I put that in my cup and uh, by the time we eat lunch, um, it's all ready to go and we add some uh, everything bagel cashews. I have some green olives and even some hummus to put in there. So it's a really good lunch. We had it yesterday, it was really great. So I'm gonna stick these in and get them soaking away for our lunch later today. Another morning ritual I have is drinking some sort of green powder so I can get my greens in while I'm on the trail. And I bought these a year ago, um, and last year I had one and it was just terrible. But I had a good one too that was able to drink. But this is one I've been avoiding, um, and that's why it's a year old, because I didn't want to drink it last year. But I've run out of the good green green uh, drinks, so I have to drink it this time. And this is uh, wheatgrass. Doesn't that sound good when you're out on the trail? But Again, it's supposed to uh, help me glow out here on the trail, so it's part of my morning ritual here at camp is to try and drink a liter of water before we leave camp, and once I get halfway done with my liter, I stick in my green powder, and I just drink away so that I feel just great on the trail. And uh, anyways, so I'll let you know how this one tastes. I'm... A little nervous to take this one. All right, here we go. It's green. It sure is green. Not bad, not great, but I'll chug it down before we go. Well, good morning again. We just had a really good night after uh, making it up here to Thousand Island yesterday. It was very windy in the afternoon, but uh, we were hoping and praying that the wind would die down, which it did. And we just have a beautiful campsite that Natalie scouted out. And now we're heading out this morning. Our our goal is a Diza Lake uh, via the JMT going past Garnet Lake. So we're hoping for another great day. It's been fabulous so far. A little bit of a snow field to cross. Not too bad though. We're right above Emerald Lake.
here's where we're supposed to cross. <laughs> okay, we made it to Adiza. It's beautiful. Um, but we're supposed to be on that side. <laughs> but because the creek crossing was so full, we would have had to take our shoes off and wade across it. And it was kind of deep. So we went the other way. Um, and had to scale a few rocks. And on this side of the lake, there's no camping. So we actually have to continue and hike around until we get to the other side, which I think there's a trail. So that's what we're gonna aim to do. But anyways, threw us a little bit for a loop. Well, we weren't expecting to do that, but we gotta take a deep breath because we're here and it is beautiful. So we're going to look for a place to stay the night. So, not really a trail, but rock scrambling. Not too bad for me. Have to turn around and see how Dad is doing. Not too great. It's this is our camp spot on Adiza Lake. And it is a fabulous spot with a view. We come out to our little rock balcony. And we have a view of the minarets back there. Uh, Iceberg Lake is back up there. And let's see, you can also see behind us, uh, just right up here, is Ritter. But just a really gorgeous view. But Diza Lake. Last year we were on the other side, so over that way, and we hiked up to Iceberg, but we got a view up to Ritter. Um, but this time, because of the creek crossing, we crossed the rock scramble and uh, ended up at our campsite tucked right here. And pretty good spot. So we set up pretty quickly and took a swim. We've kind of done our like evening <laughs> uh, cleansing routine. We've got our thermals already on. Not that it's super cold yet, but we're just kind of getting ready for the evening and uh, getting all ready before the sun sets. So we're going to enjoy our evening here at Adiza. Oh gosh, you're brave or something. Oh. I'm not going under. It's too cold. This is fresh snow melt. <gasps> What's for dinner? We're having a mixture of lentil curry, corn chowder, and sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. That's going to taste good. It's 7.30, we're enjoying our half a cup of cocoa each, and uh, we're about ready to call it a night. We try not to get back into the tent until about nine o'clock, unless it's really cold. So we still have an hour and a half to go, but we will uh, sit out here for as long as we can, enjoy the uh, scenery, and then we'll pop into our tent. We're listening to an audiobook, and then we uh, hit the sack pretty early because we're tired, so. 
it's been a great trip and uh, this is yeah. a great last location so it's been awesome yeah. thank you Nat. splash are packed up at our campsite at Adiza and we are headed out of here. Um, it was a great location and although there were mosquitoes they um, as soon as the sun went down yesterday we had a couple hours without them and and actually this morning we were able to um, eat our breakfast and drink our coffee um, in peace but they are out now so it's about nine o'clock we are headed back to Agnew Meadow well it's nothing like starting your morning with a rock scramble to get you warmed up but I had breakfast we, scramble. we made it across back there just right over there is our little rock um, balcony uh, but you can see it's just a beautiful view so we're now headed down coming down from Adiza. It's a great day. Light breeze, doing good. Well, we made it to Agnew Meadow and back out to Red's Meadow Road. We're about to start the walk up to Minaret Vista. We're hoping maybe we can catch a ride uh, so we don't have to walk the whole thing. But uh, it's been a fabulous trip. We just hope for a abbreviated ending. <laughs> so we're hiking up to Minaret Vista on the road. I haven't seen any cars yet. There's elevation 8400. And, and this uh, is 9,000, I think. Right around a little bit more than 9,000, I think. So, 
we'll truck along and see if we get a ride, see if anybody comes by. If not, we're gonna really earn our right. showers and beds tonight. <laughs> How you feeling, Dad? Actually, I'm feeling strong. <laughs> I mean, compared to some of the things we did, it's not too bad. We've walked two miles up the road so far toward the uh, vista of the entrance parking. And not many cars to give us a ride. So we're doing the noble thing. The only choice we have. Hi, lovey-dovey. Come here. Come on. That car, but he just passed it. Hi, Hi sweetness. Hi, good girl. Oh, you're so good. How you doing, huh? Hi, 